This video is to demonstrate how to download product from the new Sage customer portal. To start, we'll open up a web browser and the website to go to for the customer portal is https colon forward slash forward slash customers dot sage north america dot com. On the top right, click on the log on button and enter in your username and password. Your username is typically your email address. If there are problems logging into the Sage customer portal, please call portal support at 877-828-6372. For this demonstration, I will log in with my mock account I'll click the log on button. You may be presented with a security information screen. Just click yes and you're now logged into the Sage customer portal. Depending on the products that you have with Sage, you may have only Sage business accounting or you may have more. Um, in this case here, we intend to download product for Sage business accounting, so I'll click on the Sage business accounting symbol and we are presented now with a few options. The options we can see here uh, are uh, the first one is the Sage Business YouTube channel which Sage has a Business Vision channel um, with related Business Vision videos. Um, solutions, we can check the knowledge base. We can here open up a case online, contact support uh, by either um, a chat or with a phone we have the area on the right which shows you the uh, download products area and the payroll updates. You also have here um, important documents regarding uh, latest versions and the Sage University. For this demonstration we're going to download and show you how to download some products and some payroll updates. So I'm going to click on the product downloads first I'll maximize the screen and depending on your uh, contract you must have a valid contract um, either a bronze, silver or a gold in order to download a uh, product. So in this case here um, this account does have a valid plan and I have the ability of downloading uh, products all the way from uh, 2011 which is the latest version of client server edition all the way down to um, Sage Business Vision Utilities um, from the credit card scrub utility, sales tax utility, and the crystal patch. In this case here, uh, if I want to download, I can download the 2011 client server edition. So I can just simply click on that. And I'm presented with two options. The first one is to download uh, the product via the Sage Download Manager. The second option is via the internet browser directly. Um, it is recommended that you download the products via the Sage Download Manager. The main benefits of the Sage Download Manager is that it manages the available bandwidth across the network, allows you to pause the download and resume at a later time, and manages bit by bit delivery of file information checking complete information. We'll go through this option first. If we choose this option, we will see here that we need to download and install this application, the Sage Download Manager. I will install it. And a screen will then appear showing where to download the file to. So in this case, since I just simply want to download the file, I will remove the execute the file after downloading. I will simply click the browse button if I need to, to go to any folder I want. 
In this case, I will simply go to my desktop and hit OK. You will see here that the Download Manager will start. And I will now click the Start button. Upon clicking Start, we will now see that there is the time remaining, the speed, and the completion. Now this will increase um, depending on the uh, bandwidth of your network and other factors. So as you can see here that I have approximately seven minutes left. So if I need to, I could stop or pause the download and come back at a later time, or I can simply cancel it. I can hit resume and just continue on. This is the first method. Now, if we cancel this, the second method is the traditional method via the internet browser. In this case, I will simply click the download button here, and I'm just immediately asked whether I want to save the file. So I can click on save, and I can go to my desktop and it saves the normal way. Disadvantages of this method is that if the internet connectivity fails, it will not allow you to reconnect and resume the download. It does not also um, provide a bit-by-bit -bit confirmation of the delivery of the file, which the Sage Download Manager does. I will hit cancel here, and this is the second option. I'll go back and you could download basically any file within this page the same way. Let's close this window here and if we go to payable updates we can basically do the same thing. Now with a payable update, the payable tax update, um, you must have a valid payable update plan. If your uh, payable update plan is valid, you will be able to download the uh, tax tables. So in this case, if I wanted to download the, let's say for example, the 2009 uh, update 7.36, I can simply click on that, and I am obviously given the two methods again, the Sage Download Manager or the Internet Browser. So if I click on Download Now, since I already downloaded that plugin, I will get the option right away. So if I just simply click OK, the download manager will start. Okay, it's downloaded. If I view my desktop, You can see here that I have downloaded the Sage BizMission Tax Table 7.36. Let's maximize our windows again. And we can simply go back and we can close this window. Upon finishing downloads of your files, can simply click the log off button. Click on yes and which closes your session. This concludes the video on demonstrating how to download product from the Sage customer portal. Thank you.